To another landscape photography vlog and today we are at Torrey Pines State Reserve which is one of my favorite places in San Diego kind of an underrated place for photography you know I really didn't shoot here much until like probably a year or so ago but I've I've come in here ever since I was a little kid I'm not sure why I never gave it a good chance. I'm sure you have those spots where you're just like, you never really see the potential until later on. And you finally, you know, you look around here and you're like, wow, the trees are so cool and there's so much cool things to shoot. So I'm just loading up a little bit of 35 millimeter film into my camera. And today I'm working with some... Uh, Portra 400, which is what I've been shooting lately. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun day out here. Well, I found a really cool spot to shoot over here with some different sandstone patterns and uh, playing around a little bit with the 50 millimeter this time on a tripod because the sun is really low on the horizon it's just a bit dark so i want to try and get everything in focus here there we go i think that's in focus so here's the landscape beautiful beautiful sandstone ridges and here's what my viewfinder is seeing. So I'm just kind of focusing in on the patterns to the right. I've got some interesting bush shapes on the left and I'll do some variations of this but it's kind of what I'm after here. So here is my first composition and to be honest I think I was a little bit underwhelmed with the results of this photograph. And that happens from time to time where you're composing a shot, you get quite excited about it, and then you realize once you get back to Lightroom that it isn't quite as compelling of a photograph as when you were actually out in field. And this is especially true when it comes to film photography because you have a pretty long gap in between taking the image and actually having time to review it once you get the scans back. But I did really like the colors here, and I felt like the color contrast was quite nice between the bushes and the sandstone patterns. But then I shifted my attention to just the textures on the right side. Ooh, you know what? This vertical frame is really cool. Just trying to fine tune this composition, focus. And F11 should be good here. Let's do, this time we're gonna do a one second exposure, so I'm gonna set the timer. So here's the vertical frame that removes the bushes from the composition and just focuses in on the sandstone patterns. I really loved the creamy peach tones that you could find throughout the image. And I felt like the film grain here with the Portra 400 worked really well for this composition. You know, I just couldn't help myself. I uh, saw this, this incredible horizon just these pastel colors, little horizontal shapes to the waves. It's very soothing, very calming. I have literally no idea if these shots are gonna come out 
but I was so tempted to stop and just take a few pictures. I think I needed this. A nice evening to go take pictures. Just kind of wander around with the camera, look at the different shapes and the colors, the rocks and the trees. So at this moment, it got a little bit too dark to shoot anything more, so I decided to wrap it up. But this was not my only occasion shooting film on the coast. So I'd love to show you some of my favorite 35 millimeter film pictures that I took in San Diego. Here's an image captured at 100 millimeters, taken from the cliffs, focusing in on the ocean down below. You can see this person down there just sort of enjoying the waves and enjoying the sunlight. I love the quality of this photograph and all of those horizontal lines that shift through the image from the waves to the shoreline. And those little pebbles down there on the shore, I felt like added a nice bit of texture to help break up the image a bit. And then that slight X shape that's created by the waves right through the center of the photograph. But I think my favorite element of this image specifically is that halation effect you get from the specular highlights. That thin fringing of red that blooms out from the brightest highlights into the photograph. I felt like that was a really nice touch and gave the image a bit more character. After shooting this image, I started walking back to my car and funny enough, I found some really interesting images right in the parking lot. symmetry here in this photograph and that nice smooth gradient from the blues towards the top down towards those pastel oranges in the bottom of the photograph. So here's an image taken shortly after of this paraglider and I just waited around a little bit for that person to get right in the center between these lampposts. A few days later, I decided to bring my camera back out and do a bit more film photography, but this time I brought a special friend with me. So I'm back out again, shooting a little bit of 35 millimeter film, the 100 millimeter on there. And uh, we actually have a special guest on the program, famous photographer. I'm really excited. This is, uh, it's an honor. We've got Max. Huh? You wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> He's like, not really. <laughs> I just wanna go sniff those plants and things. But, uh, that's a really nice day today. This little adventure was uh, more, more about getting Max to go out and sniff bushes than it was for <laughs> photography. being a good boy and does that mean you also get a treat is this the treat hey hey wait good boy you guys came here for the photography but you stayed for the max <laughs> Earlier in the video I had mentioned how sometimes you get quite excited about an image while you're shooting it and then you get back to Lightroom later and you realize okay maybe it wasn't as photogenic as you thought. And this is actually the opposite. I was quite uncertain about this shot while I was photographing it. I was pleasantly surprised when I got the scans back and saw the results. I love the color contrast here between some of those deeper dark green tones and those bright vivid orange red tones from the last bits of sunlight hitting the tree. And overall the shapes and textures here I felt like worked really well.
Here's another variation, this time vertical, and this was a handheld shot that I did while including some leaves in the foreground to create that nice creamy bokeh effect. I felt like that effect added a nice bit of surrealism to the image. I want to thank Legacy Photo Lab for all their fantastic work in developing and scanning my images here. And if you're interested in having your own images developed and scanned, you can use promo code SHAMEBLOOM to get 10% off. Make sure to check them out. So I've been lying to all of you. Max is the uh, true mastermind behind all of these compositions. and He helped me pick that one of the trees. So I found just one more composition, and it's this nice diffused lighting on this beautiful, beautiful tree. So let me show you what I'm working with. So you can see the tree right here, just beautiful branches. It stands out really nice against the darker greens back there. And I'm using the 100 millimeter to really get tight in on those trees. So here's my final image of the day, and if you've followed the channel for a while, you know it's hard for me to resist gnarly trees like these two. I love the colors and the shapes here, and I felt like the tone of the trees stood out really well against this background here. But funny enough, something I didn't realize while I was shooting it, and actually ended up being my favorite element of the composition when I got back the scans, is that nice tinge of red you get through the tree that creates a little bit of that color contrast between the reds and the greens in the photograph. All right, well, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this video because Max really wants to continue on his walk. But, uh, but yeah, as always, I really hope you enjoyed the images from this video, or at least I hope the images from this video even came out. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but uh, it was a fun adventure, and even if the images didn't come out, hopefully you still enjoyed hanging out a bit with my buddy Max. Huh, bud? Where are you going? I'm not done here. Don't you want to say bye? Say bye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thank you.